Hello and welcome to Prudent News. Now a look at the headlines. Now Goa State Cooperative Bank to haunt loanies from mining belt decides to snap final notices before Tsavat. It's black festive season for Goans. Anti-narcotic department's report confirms drug inflow during international dance and music events on beaches. Intelligence agencies put the areas on radar. Kalangut police shut down four alleged dance bars, refused to acknowledge the illegal activities inside. Three top cops give three different versions. Agitated locals of Ponda stop dumping of garbage at Bondbag, oppose garbage treatment plant. And Kukoli BJP Mandal comes to the rescue of MLA Rajan Naik, says land for the proposed NIT will be encroached by migrants if kept idle. Now news in detail. Goa State Cooperative Bank will now tighten the news over loanies from mining belt. Bank has decided to dispatch notices to the loanies with heavy overdues before Tsavat. Loan amount of mining dependents in Goa State Cooperative Bank has touched 134 crores figure. Bank officials are meeting on Tuesday to decide further course of action. Goa State Cooperative Bank may ask loanies to pay the installments from their mining package amount. After national banks, it's now Goa State Cooperative Bank which will snap final notices on the mining dependents. Bank has decided to send notices before Tsavath. Chairman of the Goa State Cooperative Bank, Ullas Faldesai, said that the bank cannot wait anymore. Bank has decided to go ahead with the legal procedure as they are not expecting solution to mining issue in near future. There is 134 crore rupees outstanding loan of mining dependents in Goa State Cooperative Bank. 53 crores are on the name of truck owners, while rest 81 crores are borrowed by allied business activities. Sources inform that bank officials will meet on Tuesday to decide on the loans borrowed by mining dependents. Bank will sort loanies into categories. Sources inform that bank will ask them to pay the loan amount from the package received from the government. Before issuing notices, the bank has decided to have talks with the government. Goa government has written a letter to the Reserve Bank asking to restructure the loans of cooperative banks. Meanwhile, Goa Mining People's Front has decided to call off the shutdown in seven talukas from 22nd August to 28th August. Goa Mining People's Front will convene a mega convention in Panji on 29th August. <laughs> कि गोयात माइनिंग है तो धंधा शुरू जालो ना बेगी हुए जैसे कोई चलो कोई रहो चेना रस्ते रहतले आंदोलन करतले आज मुस्तफ मनोर परिकर धमके जेता लोका but let him know that Goa Mining People's Front and this movement is ten hundred thousand steps behind before him माइनिंग एरिया कोकण रेलवे चाहिए थोड़ा सा जन्ना आमी है बंद करतले जो अपरेन माइनिंग एरिया जाए ना तो अपरेन माइन ये रेलवे हम जे माइनी इतना कोई चीना अशे मंटलाइन सब गए लोग भी तेलांग भी फैमिली रेलवे ट्रैक आके बस तले तेंदा तो विचे सॉट आउट जाते लोग रिपोर्टर महेश गाड़ी विद वीडियो जर्नलिस्ट देवेंद्र गांवकर सेंट्रल इंटेलिजेंस एजेंसीज Steps are being initiated in the wake of heavy drug inflow during tourist season in dance and electronic music festivals. Anti-narcotic bureau reports submitted to the state government a few weeks back has confirmed drugs inflow during such festivals. Report has primarily shown how a popular electronic music festival at Kandani has become a drug hub. State security agencies are pulling up their socks for the upcoming tourist season. The target is to curb drug trafficking on Goan beaches. As per sources, Anti-Narcotics Bureau reports submitted to the state government has once again confirmed drugs inflow in dance and music festivals in beach belts. 
report mainly highlights gross violations of rules and regulations by an electronic music festival at Kandoli. The said popular international electronic music festival had violated state government restrictions on consumption of narcotic substance at the venue. Sources informed that Goa police convened a high-power anti-narcotics task force meeting at police headquarters. The meeting was attended by officials of various agencies, including Indian Customs, Navy, Intelligence and Anti-Narcotic Bureau. At this meeting, agencies had raised concern over the illegal narcotics detoxification centers at the coastal belt. The Central Intelligence Agencies have decided to put all music festivals, bars, pubs and beach shacks under surveillance. Reporter Mahesh Kadi for Prudent. After the huge uproar against dance bars, Kalangut police closed four such alleged dance bars. But Goa police are reluctant to divulge exact details about the activities that were going on inside these bars. Prudent Media contacted PI of Kalangut, DYSP Mapsa and SP of North Goa. Surprisingly, all the three have three different versions regarding closure of the bars. Kalangut police on Thursday evening raided and closed bars namely Dabaga, Mehfil, Angara, Rio and Ainos. Some of the locals without coming on camera claimed that these bars were operating as dance bars. When we contacted PI of Kalangut Nilesh Rane, he said that he had received a complaint that those bars were running without licenses. Rani also said that he found that licenses were not renewed by the panchayat but bars were running. Rani said that there were just dance floors in those bars and there was no evidence of any dance bar kind of activity. When we contacted DYSP NC Riker, his reply was contrary to PI Nilesh Rani. DYSP said that they had received a complaint that prostitution was going on in those bars. He also confirmed that 18 girls were found there. He said that investigation is on whether those girls were procured for flash trade. When we contacted SP of North Goa Vishram Borkar, he flatly denied existence of dance bars in Goa. These three versions of one raid definitely raise many questions. Did they not have license? Was there prostitution activity? or an activity like dance bars was going on there. When three senior officers of the police department speak in three different voices and version, there is something definitely not right. Reporters Mukesh Kumar and Shamsundar Fate for Prudent. Agitated locals in Ponda stopped dumping of garbage in their area. Locals from Bonbag in Durgabat stopped a municipal truck unloading the garbage. Workers at the garbage site were also stopped from working. They have warned of strong opposition to the proposed garbage treatment plant in their area. The municipal truck loaded with garbage was stopped by the locals of Bonbag on Saturday evening. The truck filled with wet and dry garbage was unloading the garbage. People have complained of stink, flies and pollution in the area. They say the lake in the area is polluted due to garbage. जे आमच्या काउन्सिलर मार्फत आम्ही लेटर केले असा थ्रू लोकांनी दिले असा परत पंचायतीने दिले असा म्युनिसिपॅलिटी लेटर बाबा अंग कचरा घालना का म्हणून इलेक्शन जाऊचे त्यांना फक्त प्लास्टिक काढून घेतले प्लास्टिक बॅगा बॅगा एक कचरा एक गटा बैठी मध्ये त्यांनी कोणा गव्हर्नर असं नाही इले गेले अंग सेग्रेगेशन स्टार्ट केले दे हॅव आल्सो अपोज्ड टू द प्रपोज्ड गार्बेज ट्रीटमेंट प्लांट इन बॉनबाग दिसत मी की दोंबा आमचे तो जॉब आहे आणि जॉब आहे आणि पळे जॉब आहे आणि मूळ काम तो कोणा कसे कारण हमें संगले हंगा नैचरल बॉडी आसा तीव सतुन सीचड वता थे सभी घाण जी हमें तंका पैली संगे माशे काड़ा मुझे तरी आसान ये हंग प्लास्टिक घता घता हाँ तरी पाई इन्फॉर्म करना सगले चलता है Recently, PWD Minister Sudin Dawlikar and local MLA Lavu Mamledar had visited the garbage site. It was proposed to have a garbage treatment plant in the area. Five years back, the garbage dumping was stopped by the locals. But after the formation of new council, the garbage is being dumped at Bonbag. People are agitated. Reporter Vivek Prabhu for Prudent. It's time for a short break. Stay tuned. <laughs> 